First, I wanted to show you, this is a cabinet on its side. This part right here will be down. This is a corner cupboard that will have a Lazy Susan in it. And so these parts will all be down on the floor. Well, it's right next to the kitchen sink. So if the sink leaks and all this exposed um, melamine is against the floor, uh, chances are it's going to swell. Let me see if I can show you this. I left this piece outside, and if you look right here, you can see it's starting to split because it swells. Well, you can see the crack along there too, right there. Yeah, you, you can see the, it, the corners here are starting to swell and push apart. And what happens, uh, if it gets too wet, it does this. Um, so water is not melamine's friend. You can see it just destroys it. So what happens if you get um, a constantly dripping sink or you've got a leak un under your sink and it's getting all the, all the bottoms of these cupboards wet is they're all going to do that. You don't want that. So what I've been thinking of doing is I'm going to um, take all of these exposed edges down on the floor it, where where it's going to be on the floor and I'm going to paint them and put some pretty good put several coats of paint on these and then I'm going to seal these edges with caulk up there all those exposed edges to keep the water out and I think I'll end up having a better chance of not having to replace a cabinet if we do have a flood. And I'm going to do the same thing under the kitchen sink. I'm going to put, I'm going to caulk around all the bottom edges and I'm going to paint. And then hopefully we will um, not have the problems that uh, this shows you can have.